Please bow your head and pray with me. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you today to just thank you for your many blessings and watching care of us. Thank you for blessing me with these beautiful. Thank you for blessing us with this beautiful and glorious day and these people sitting all around me. Thank you for bringing each and every one of us together to celebrate the graduation of the class of 2019. You have been so faithful and good to us over the years, and for that, I'm so grateful. Dear Lord, I, pray, I want to pray for a hedge of protection over me and my classmates as we go on our separate ways that you have prepared for us. I pray, dear Lord, for your guidance, for I know that your way is better and you will never leave or forsake us. I want to pray over our minds that they will be clear. Dear Lord, I pray over our bodies that we will live so that everyone knows you are within us. I want to also pray over our hearts that we will love others as Christ loved us. For you know every decision we will make, so I pray that we seek your guidance. Dear God, I declare wisdom, protection, and love over each of us. Make our path straight and make our path straight and clear, dear Lord. For we know that no weapon weapon formed against us will prosper, and that you are a constant shield. For you are the great I am, and at the mention of your name, demons have to flee. I pray if we do find ourselves struggling, we know that we can look to you for guidance. Give us a deep awareness of sin, Lord, and that we will be quick to confess when we have done wrong. Give us courage, joy, and laughter as we all go our separate ways. You have been so good to us, and I'll, and I'll never be able to Thank you, enough. Thank you so much for blessing me with the opportunity to spend the last 12 years with these precious people. Let us walk in faith in this new journey. We love you so much, and all these things are asking your precious and holy name. Amen. Somebody, and when life 
life gets tough and you need to be reminded, give me a call. Each one of you is somebody to me. Keep learning. Don't ever stop learning. I'm not just talking about textbook learning and school learning. Learn how to do things. Try new things. Learn how to change a flat tire. Fix something. Build something. Look for something every day that you don't know how to do to learn to do. Never stop giving. Be humble. Be kind. And when the world around you isn't kind, you still be kind. Be generous. Not just with money. Give your time and effort. The reward is far greater than the work. So class of 2019, look around you. Nobody look. The folks you have spent your entire school career with are part of the past after tonight. Some of you will go to college. Some of you will go to work. Some of you will become full-time volunteers. Some of you will be coaching Wee Ball together before you know it, just a blink of an eye. The list will go on and on. Each of you is part of a story, and that story is what you will leave for others to follow. Which brings me to the end of my speech. Tonight, I want to say, back, I want to conclude my speech by saying thank you. Thank you for making me part of your story and for you to be part of my story. For this is a great year to be the principal of Green County High School. I wish you nothing but the best on whatever kind of story you choose to live.
Good evening. I'm Hunter Jackson, the assistant principal, and this year I have the distinct pleasure of introducing the top senior scholar for the class of 2019. In trying to adequately prepare words to describe this student, my initial reaction was to obviously speak about his GPA and ACT slash AP test scores. However, in an effort to more appropriately categorize this young man, I decided to ask the teachers that have interacted with him throughout the years to share their thoughts and feelings. There are not enough great things to say about Stephen. I've had the privilege of knowing him since his freshman year. He has the ability to catch on the concepts very quickly, understand them, and remember them. In addition to being academically gifted at an unbelievable level, he is also one of the kindest, best-natured students I've ever taught. He greets me each morning with a smile and works hard at whatever it is that's asked of him. Stephen is one of those people that is quiet, so when he speaks, you know it's going to be valuable and worth listening to. He is blessed with a brilliant mind. He is a sponge for knowledge. He spent much of his extra time in class reading and exercising his mind. He is an honest, hardworking, and caring young man. Stephen is an excellent thinker, an analyst, and writer. He has a lovable, dry, super sarcastic sense of humor. He is always prepared above and beyond what is expected of him. Stephen is an absolutely brilliant young man. He has a quick wit about him that is just a delight. He is so intelligent, but even more important, he is a Christian and he is humble. He does not just rest on his ability, but realizes hard work and effort are expected as well for success. Ladies and gentlemen, our top senior scholar for the class in 2019 is Mr. Stephen McCarroll. Good evening, everyone. Welcome, and thank you all for coming tonight. I am honored to be speaking to you on behalf of the class of 2019. It's crazy to think that we're actually graduating and preparing to go out into the real world and start heading our separate ways after being together for so long. I know many have come and gone, but several of us have been here at Green County the whole time. I've been at Green County from the first time I stepped foot into Miss Darlene Henderson's kindergarten class on my first day of school 13 years ago and I've never wished to be anywhere else. We've been together through it all, from primary school on up through intermediate, middle, and high school. We survived all the challenges that were thrown our way, even the school food. And you know, you all know that we have to thank for that. 
We all survived the dreaded junior year, well, most of us, and managed to make it through senior year without much hassle. Through the years, we've all made friends and found our places with each other. Most of us have figured out what we want to do with our lives, or so we think, and are working toward making it happen, whether it be by going to college, a trade school, or by jumping straight into the workforce. I suppose one reason I was asked to speak tonight was to give y'all some advice. Honestly, I don't feel like I should be the one to do so, but I'll try. The best advice I can give you is to simply do your best. That's what my parents told me when I started school. Just do your best, and that'll be good enough for us. I always tried to follow their advice, and it's brought me here. Whatever your path, simply do your best, and you'll be all right. However, I'm not saying that everything will always be easy. On the contrary, many things will be hard for you, but that's just when you'll need them to keep on working harder, and you'll make it through. Now, on to the thank yous. First and foremost, we should thank the good Lord for allowing us all to make it this far. Without him, we wouldn't be here in the first place. Thank you to the parents who have helped us and encouraged us along the way. You've kept us going from the time we were crying little kindergartners to when we became drama field teens, and you've loved us all along the way. And of course, thank you to the teachers who have helped us through the years. I'm not going to name you all because I'm sure to forget someone, and I know y'all don't want to be here all night. But they've all helped us figure out all the problems we never would have had without them. Some even became like friends to us, and I will forever be grateful for them, for their friendship and guidance. My classmates and teachers, both past and present, have made my school experience as good as I could have asked for, and I will truly miss you all. I know many of my classmates will be glad to finally get out of this place and probably won't look back. However, I ask you all this. Remember where you came from, because you'll never get this back. And finally, fellow classmates, whether you plan to go to college, a trade school, into the workforce, or something else altogether, I wish you the very best of luck in your endeavors. Thank you all for allowing me to speak tonight. this time, I'll ask Mr. Will Hodges, Ms. Marcy Goff, Mr. Hunter Jackson to join me in presenting the poems.
Shailen Marie Williams, Health Sciences Pathway. Gavin O. Brown, Agriculture Pathway. Braden J. Paxton, Agriculture Pathway. Dawson Alexander Moran.
Austin Hunt, Honors, Wood Manufacturing Technology Factory. Noah Hampton. Dylan Comstock. Scott Lee
Matthew Taylor Soto, Automotive Technology Pathway, and Computer Rust Manufacturing and Machining Pathway. Isabella Danielle Brown. Savannah Courtney Scott, Agriculture Pathway. Caitlin Joe Beard, Computer Rust Jennifer Nicole Pierce, Agriculture Pathway. Emily Crystal Gallison. Lauren Taylor Hunt. Matthew DeFort Michael, DeFoya Honors Eagle Scout. Stephen Douglas McCarroll, Honors Agriculture Pathway. Garrett Harris, Computerized Manufacturing and Machining Pathway. Summerbrook Wright, Agriculture Pathway and Health Sciences Pathway. Matilda Ann Berry, Family Consumer Science Pathway. Leah Shea Dow, Computerized Manufacturing and Machining Pathway. Alexandria Shepard, Family and Consumer Science Pathway. Kelsey Henderson, Honors, World Manufacturing Technology Pathway. Pamela Collins. Tony Watkins, <laughs> Dylan Burton, <laughs> Devin Mitchell, Welding Technology. Pete Davis, Agriculture Pathway. Chance Arnold, Automotive Technology Pathway. Every action you take matters. 
not just in you or your family or your business or your hometown. Everything you do matters to all of us forever. This is an extract from The Butterfly Effect, a book by Andy Andrews. So class, I ask you this evening, is there a family member that has made a difference in your life? Is there a teacher that has made a difference in your life? Maybe there's a pastor that's made a difference in your life. Is there a coach that's made a difference in your life? I'm asking, has someone along the way had a positive effect on your life shaping who you are today? I hope that each of you can answer yes to one of these questions. If not, we have failed you as a society. You see, at the time, individuals never realized how one move or one action can change the lives of many forever. Looking back at some journals of mine, there was one instance just a few, a few years ago, a coach just happened to notice an individual wandering through a gymnasium. The coach invited the student to join the team. Over the course of the next few years, a strong relationship was formed, and the student was held to high expectations, and that student found success. The student noted, because of you, I am the person I am. Having you as my coach has taught me a lot. You've taught me responsibility to never give up, to believe in myself, and that I'm capable, capable of more than I think. I'm glad to have you as my coach. Thank you for changing my life around. One person, unknowingly at the time, made a difference in the life of this student. The neat thing is, the change in this life will bring about a change in future lives. I hope we all have that one person in our life. I hope we can all be that one person to another individual. In conclusion, Andy Andrews Andrew finishes his book with this passage. You have been cre created as one of a kind. On the planet Earth, there has never been one like you. And there never will be again. Your spirit, your thoughts and feelings, your ability to reason and act exist in no one else. The rarities that make you special are no mere accident or quirk of fate. You have been created in order that you might make a difference. You have within you the power to change the world. Know that your actions cannot be thwarted, saved for later, or used selectively. By your hand, millions, maybe billions, of lives will be altered caught up in a chain of events began by you this day. The very meaning of your heart has meaning and it has purpose. Your actions have value far greater than silver or gold. Your life and what you do with it today matters forever. Graduates, your life matters and matters greatly. Starting today, make a difference. Be a giver. Disregard those that hate and make our world a better place. May God richly bless each one of you in all of your endeavors. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
Will you please stand? Thank us, Seth and Cord. Without further ado, Green County High School Class of 2019 have satisfied all the requirements of the Kentucky State Department of Education. Having satisfied all the requirements of Green County Board of Education and Green County High School, I now declare you graduates of Green County High School of 2019.